everybody, all pro exterior services. Here you're at another beautiful house. Uh, this was a referral. We're getting a lot of referrals. Anyway, driveway, walkway to the front of the house, the fence. I'm not a big fan of the fence, but we're going to do what we can. We're going to hit it with a 2%, already pre wet it. And we got the back patio in the side of the house. But already pre wet it, and he got some section here that I'm going to test. So we got the uh, no soap, no soap, just SH. So we're just going to be wetting it down like we already wet all this down. And this is going to be kind of a sample for me to kind of get my system dialed in. So, and we're going to come back with like a, uh, either a uh, M5 twist, preferably, or maybe even a uh, J-Rod. The fan tip on the J ride. So we're just waiting on SH. And really, no vegetation here, so we're golden there. I got it at 2%, like I said, 2%. We don't know what this is going to do. But again, preface the customer, let them know that, look, we can't bring things back to brand new condition, but we can get it looking a lot better. So. All right, let me go ahead and hit this. You see the before pictures? Here's a test piece. We went ahead, got the approval from the customer. He was, they were ecstatic. Uh, you can see here, this is the old, this is the new. We already did all this, so we got to go all the way around. So we're just hitting it now. Using the M5 twist, it's working out nice. We're able to catch two or three boards. So uh, yeah, it's good. Now all of it's not going to come off, of course. It's an old fence. He gets it, but yeah. And and look, when I when I bid these, they're not cheap, but it's cheaper than a fence. All right, we'll catch up. Peace. The girl's been here about an hour, a little over an hour. We've got all this fence done, all this up to here. We already pre-treat this with the two, well, wet it first, wet it really good, hit it with the 2%, no soap, just bleach and water. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. You know, we've been in rotation, so when he's rinsing this, I sprayed this with water and bleach, so that's good. So we're all golden, so you can see here, uh, let's get some live action of Tony. We've been swapping up on the gun because it's hot. One of the upsides here is that we got a lot of shade, so that's pretty nice. So it's, 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 it's looking better. I mean, as you can tell, it looks more wood than it, than it did green and black, so they, they really need a fence. I mean, he knows that. He just says, look, I'm just trying to get a few years out of it. So uh, but like I said before, when we price these, I don't like wood. I know this is not the right way. They got other ways of doing it. Uh, I don't want to do that. I, in fact, I didn't want to do this. So when I price it, I price it like that. So, uh, and when they bite on it, hey, it's something we got to take care of and and do it. And I always do a test spot and get the customer's approval before I go through the whole process because I don't want to have to come back and do it again. So they approved of it. They said, golden, well, rock and roll. So that's what we're doing, Grip. All right, catch up. Hey. All right, everybody. We're uh, on the wrap up on this job. We're gonna just about flat. We're at the front of this little fence. Already hit that. We gotta hit that. We're gonna do the flat work. That's the way out. On the way out, uh, customer let us pull a trailer in. So on this job, let me just tell you guys that 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 wrought iron fence right here had some mold on it. We didn't quote that. Well, you know what I did? I was already spraying this with two percent. Hit it. M5 twisted it. Came right off. And. Uh, coincidentally, the customer came out and said, whoa, man, look, I already posted you on the Neighborhood Association. Give me your Google link. And by the way, there's a couple of extra Franklins in the envelope. So, a little bit goes a long way. Bless, man, bless. Anyway, we're going to hit that flat work here in a minute. And uh, do a little post treat on the way out. Call it a wrap. We got a little walkway. I don't know if I showed you guys the walkway. Now we're about to get in the sun. So, a little walkway, just sturdy, just dirty. We'll get it, it's what we do. All right, guys, catch up. And I, I already talked to him about coming out doing the gutter cleaning. He has, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, what do you call them? Gutter guards. <laughs> but, <clears throat> you know, I don't know, we just did a house with half gutter guards, half not. Customer did. We ended up taking them out, so we've been doing a lot of, a lot of that kind of work. Roof to break clean off and house washing. I'm trying to get filming as much as I can. It's just been stressful, man. The hot, the heat, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. So we'll catch up. Peace. All right, 
right now is getting it in, getting it in on the way out. Last piece of the job. We got two more we got to hit today. I'm gonna try to get footage. My battery is about to die though, so we'll see. I gotta do that mobile charger in the truck. Anyway, yeah, it's coming out nice. That five percent is gonna spike that really good. And we already all that water's going off in here on the side, so it's already pre-wetting that side. But make sure you do that. Unless it's really hot, and as soon as you put it on, it just sucks in. You just need a good coat. You don't want to drench it where it runs off. Anyway, we're gonna finish this up and roll on. Catch that cheese. Peace.